Jaguars have been struggling finishing the entire season. Trevor gets hit. He's going to get sacked. He fumbles the football. It's intercepted. At some point, one of the offensive stars needs to step up and make some plays. Sun peeking through here. Fabio admiring Trevor Lawrence's hair. Trevor dies for the end zone. I mean, sure, it was a rough start to the 2022 season for Trevor Lawrence, but he turned it around when it mattered most. Now, he'll have a true number one threat in Calvin Ridley, who sat down with our Bucky Brooks. After a year away from the NFL, what is it like to be a part of a team again? Uh, first of all, a year away from the NFL puts a lot of things in perspective for, for a young man like me, but um, a year away from the game um, and coming back now is just... It shows me I miss the game more than ever and that I love football more than ever. And football was something that I do and love and will always be what I love. Like, I know football has always been big, but like that year away from it, um, you know, you talk about falling back in love with the game. Like, how did you come to that realization of falling back in love with it? Uh, well, just watching it. I happened to watch it, at, I happened to watch it at home and knowing I really can't, there's nothing I can do to get back into the game until I get approval, you know. So that, you know, being again, the game being taken away from me, and I was just like, man, I can't even, I, I can't sit home all day. You know, I need a job. I mean, what I do is I always work every day. Football was my job for most of my life. So that was the hardest part, just not being able to run and, you know, be a part of a team and, you know, feel important at that moment, so it was hard. Well, now, I obviously can't talk to you without talking about right. the quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. Right. So, Trevor, you saw Trevor grow mm -hmm. this last year. What is it about Trevor that you're excited most about? Uh, uh, his ability. Um, he's a great quarterback, young, smart, got an arm. I, mean, I just know that my tools, you know, <laughs> coming to play with him, I could just see, you know, us doing, you know, really, really, really big things. and. You know, he has the, the arm strength to reach me, and we, and I can get open on a lot of this guys. And we have a lot of, you know, teammates that can help, but I just think he's a, a, a great talent. The arm strength and me and my ability with that, I think it can, it can really work out good. Well, look, so you're saying this, so you, you're fortunate that you jump into a situation where you have a <laughs> Super Bowl winning coach and Doug Peterson, who's also an offensive play caller. Uh, what are you most excited about when you have the opportunity to think about what he can do to help you and what yeah. you can do to help him in terms of getting the Jaguars to the next level? Yeah, um, winning. Uh, like I went to Alabama, I was a part of a winning culture there. You know, I know Atlanta's a winning culture too, but we didn't, we had a rough, a rough couple of years. But I know Coach Doug has the formula to win, and you know I want to be a part of that, and that's what you know it's, that's what it's about. That's why we work hard and just to win those games and be in those important games. I want to be in important games, so I want to. I think Coach Doug and Trevor and the whole Jacksonville organization is going that direction. I, I want to be a part of that, man. How excited are you to get back involved, get back into the swing of things? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the part of football I love. I, I love the competing. I mean, I wish April 17th was tomorrow. That's what I'm here for. I want to play football, you know. So, I mean, I can't tell y'all how excited I am. I've sat out a whole year season. I mean, the season just ended. I mean, I, now I'm back in, and it's, this process is slower for me to perform, you know. So, just taking it slow, one foot at a time, but I can't wait. Jax fans have obviously been, like, tweeting at you, supporting you, really excited about you joining. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean to have their support in your corner? Yeah, it just shows me that, you know, they, they, they're welcoming. I mean, I'm, they know that I'm a good player and that I can help this organization, and they just, you know, the team is on the rise, and they're, they're, they're building my confidence, and I'm trying to build theirs. So that's a great thing. Bucky, great stuff with Calvin Ridley. It was funny for, as I'm watching it. He's got this coy smile as he's describing what he could do with Trevor Lawrence. Not everything makes air, but what stood out in your time with him and your conversation? Uh, a very mature Calvin Ridley coming back to the National Football League. Very remorseful about the situation that he was involved in. Uh, really looking forward to the opportunity to make this a redemption story. Uh, was really grateful for the Jaguars, for reaching out, bringing him on board, and kind of giving him an opportunity to play the game that he loves so much. And thinking about where he is, he talked about the injuries that he battled, uh, the foot injuries, coming back from that, and believes that he's going to be a much better version of the playmaker that we saw dominate for a time in Atlanta. 
And when you think about where he fits into this offense, it is a very natural fit. Uh, you think about Evan Ingram, Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, and now Kevin Ridley. You have interchangeable playmakers that are all very, very polished and talented uh, route runners. This should make life a lot easier for Trevor Lawrence. And we talk about the jump that he made last year in year one of the Doug Peterson era. I think you see a significant growth from the franchise quarterback, and that leads to more points and probably more wins for the Jaguars next season. Yeah, and more wins also, or reinforcements, I should say, on the way with the draft right around the corner.